Recycling containers for the full cash redemption value isn't an easy task in California right now. And there are close to 400 privately owned recycling centers in the state, but only a few places to get the full deposit back. And our Zarina Carrizada is in West LA and shares the story of one consumer who's determined to get every penny of her money back. Zarina. Kelvin, just take a look at how many recyclables are here. And no, I am not at a recycling center. I am not at a redemption center. This is a West LA backyard filled with recyclables, all bagged up, sorted, and ready to go. The problem is the homeowner tells me she can't find somewhere to get her full CRV back. So until then, they're going to pile up here. Recyclables are piling up in Nancy Hanicle's West LA backyard. This bag would have $2.50 in it, but I might be lucky to get um, $2. She's not happy about it, but she can't find somewhere to get the full CRV refund that had been paid for them. Right now, you can't take it anywhere. There are some places you can take this stuff just for scrap. And but basically they're again miles wise are too far out. Nancy says driving her recyclables to get scrap value isn't worth the gas and it doesn't cover the amount paid for the CRV. Throughout the last year, Nancy hasn't had any luck returning recyclables to stores nearby that are required to redeem the CRV value when other redemption centers are not available. All three turn Nancy away. There are currently 396 recycling centers in Los Angeles County. However, many only offer to pay by weight. Consumer watchdogs Lisa Tucker says the cost of CRV is turning into a tax on consumers. Many stores illegally turn consumers away, which is what's been happening to Nancy. And enforcement is very poor by CalRecycle. And so you have a situation where you virtually don't have any place that you can get back your nickels and dimes. Cal Recycle, the state's department in charge of recycling and waste management program, says non-compliant beverage retailers can be fined up to $1,000 after a first warning for turning customers away and that they filed $3.6 million in fees against CVS Health Corp as one example. They've also created five pilot programs for mobile CRV redemptions, one being in Culver City. Lisa says more needs to be done to give people an opportunity to get their money back. She says SB 38, a bill that puts the redemption responsibility on beverage companies, might be the answer. It hands the system over to the beverage industry and puts responsibility for the waste that's generated from bottles and cans onto the makers of the bottles and cans. And it allows them to keep unredeemed deposits um, as long as they're plowed back into making a really efficient system. And so in models like this, you see much higher rates of consumer returns. Nancy says she'll have bags in hand when more recycling opportunities become available. California has to stop just literally cheating, you know, the citizen or the consumer that's, that's bought this in the first place, whether it's myself or my neighbors. Until then, Nancy says they'll continue to pile up here because she's determined to get back every penny paid for these recyclables. CalRecycle says that any consumers who are turned away from those in-store CRV redemption sites should be filing a complaint by calling 1-800-RECYCLE or by sending an email to complaints at calrecycle.ca.gov.